Ah, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Scandinavia. So, guys, as you guys know, we're back here in this uh, game of EU4, where we are at war with a very weak alliance, and honestly, we'll get out of it pretty soon. Um, couple goals I might want to do this time around is I might want to make Hodenstein a vassal, um, just so that we can maybe start uh, processing, like, um, I may, cause I've all, I, we already had the goal a long time ago to integrate them very calmly into us, so, why don't we do that? Just calmly integrate them into our society, through war. <laughs> the calmest way you can ever integrate somebody into a society, war. Okay, so let's get right here, because this will be the easiest way to attack them. Um, I have a good enough amount of soldiers to where, yeah, that, that's win. I'm just saying, yeah. Okay, then we go right here. Not sure if this this could actually lose a little bit. Nope, we won. Yeah, and there's another battle over here. Didn't really help him much. Oh my goodness, there's an 18k Bavarian army. That somehow... Actually, that's the last of their army. If that is the 18k that I'm looking at, then that's the last of their army. Which means, let's see, what siege is not going good enough? Okay, combine these guys. Combine those guys. Yeah, yeah. You got you. You move back. You move back. You you Bavarians. Okay, we have changed our culture. Yay! So you guys are now a little bit more of us. Yay! We more people, more of us. Okay, you guys will also be us. Okay. Um, royal marriage from Great Britain. Still don't see the reason why I'd want a royal marriage with Great Britain. I'm sorry, but it really would not help me at all. Okay. You guys chase down the Holdenstein army over here. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to monitor this side now because that Bavarian. Oh no! Somebody just transferred the throne. Oh shoot! It's Christina Ribbing, who's a terrible ruler. Oh shoot! When and she has a. She already has a secure throne, and he he's pretty terrible too. Wow. Um, any chance I could get this guy killed? Because he's pretty terrible. I'm not even gonna deny. Oh, shoot. Our, our government's not gonna be okay for the next, like, couple years. I can already see the massive hysteria that's going to arise from these leaders. Okay. And then, I'm chasing down the rest of the Hodenstein men. Okay, there we go. They're all dead. Go down here. Send my men right there. And that should be fine over there. Okay, now, let's just focus on over here for a little bit. This is really where the battle's being fought. At least right now, okay, there seems to be a secret organization of men right there. But they can't get to me unless they attack right there, which is good. So I just have to make sure I watch to make sure that Bavarian army does not move. While we slowly siege down the rest of this land. All we have to do is just wait for it to show its evil face. Not really evil, just its weird face. Military access from Portugal. Heck no! Uh, yeah, heck no, you guys are getting slaughtered right now. I don't even see why you'd even want military access. Okay, and road network, that would probably help us a lot in a lot of our lands, but, oh gosh. <laughs> Let's see, how much are we not making money? Oh gosh, that's a lot of not making money. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm not gonna spend too much on this, because we have to get this up now. We have to kind of get this up. Like, we are seriously falling behind in terms of this. And we seriously have to uh, fight these guys to the bitter last breath. So I'm just watching. Like I said, the only army that seems to be able to fight me right now is the uh, Bavarian army. I can't get to it though, so there's no point in me trying to. Uh, let's see. Over here, it seems like there's some Targaryen men that are trying to wait on me. I'm just right here just going to sit down on that capital and just destroy whatever happens. Yeah, we... This is really where the battle is going to be fought, and I'm going to win this pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. Siege over with. And I just realized we have no stability. That might help us just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go send you guys to go group up with that army. I think that was actually the original army you guys were supposed to be a part of. So it makes sense that you guys are back with them. 
Um, it doesn't look like they're trying to uh, impose... Yeah, it's kind of weird. These guys aren't actually trying to impose that much. Like, they're just sending in little tiny quantities of men, which is kind of making me kind of weirded out. Like, why are you sending in such small men? And then this side over here is just like, instant we won. Uh, yeah, it, it does... These guys are all hyper to fight me, and then these guys are like, nope, we're, we're done. We're, we're done. And then DuPont is about to fall. Just have to give it a little bit more time. I'll speed up just a little bit. And... Okay, so that siege finished. Well, I'm gonna go send this army in to go fight that that little... Whatever you want to call it. That's not really an army, but... Comparatively to mine, it's not really an army. But I'll go send to go kill them. Now that they're gone, I'm hoping... No, this Bavarian army is being really quite stubborn. It does not want to move. Oh, and shoot, I have to chase these guys. I thought these guys were all dead. Okay, go chase them. Chase them. Okay, they all dead. Now they all dead. Okay, good. Okay, you guys, go to move up with that army. All right. And you guys go over here. And we're all good now. Because the Livonians are trying to raise up an army, but I crushed them all. And, yep, it looks like this is going to be pretty bad for them. Pretty dang bad. Okay, and now we can just fast forward, because now I can just watch over both of these without having too much fear. The siege is over. Let's see, go do it. Yes! Okay, so they finished up this siege. You guys can move up with these guys again. It's good. Alright, let's get back to this screen so I can see what's happening on both sides. Alright, and the siege is over. The siege is... Oh wait, my queen. Let's only have to play war. That's good. Alright, and then you guys can group up with those guys. And something of a good message just happened. A peace offer from Hodenstein. Well, Hodenstein, I have a special peace offer for you. You're gonna become my vassal. <laughs> that's my that's my peace offer for you guys. Seriously, I'm not I'm not even joking. You guys are becoming my vassal. Cause I've had about enough I've had about enough of you guys like remaining independent. For somehow you guys have remained independent. Doesn't even make any sense to me. You guys just somehow are independent. And I was the one who originally freed you, but you guys were so much jerks to me. Like, throughout the time, you guys just instantly hated me as soon as you guys were freed. So, we're going to directly declare war because of that. And we just have to wait for we us to get the final capital. We got the siege over with. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do a special piece offer for you guys. I could do full annexation, just take all the regions. But the problem with that is, is I'd have a major overextension bonus and they would everyone would hate me right next to me. So what I'm going to do is force my religion onto them, first off. Then they're going actually We're gonna send this demand to them. They're gonna become our vassal. But you know what? They should be our vassal. And yes. Now these guys are our vassal. <laughs> And are they at war with these guys? Yes, they are. So I probably should keep my soldiers right here to protect my my new allies' friends. By the way, were they a part of the? Uh, I don't. They wouldn't. I don't think they were an official member because they came in later. Yeah, they don't. They're not an official member, so I don't have to worry about the HRE coming in to try to stop me. And let's see. We just let's see. Now that you guys are our vassals. Let's see, where's the assimilate? Annex vassal, you will have to wait until the 16th. Wait until your vassal must your vassal must be annexed. Uh, okay. Basically what that's all saying guys is to annex them, I'm gonna need like 120 relations. Okay. I can do that. I mean, we basically are now friends now that we are <laughs> tied together and yeah now we just have to quickly do all the sieges over here and we got some type of some type of rebels no there we go some type of rebel problem I'm gonna go send my army to deal with it let's see what is it Danish national oh I, I destroy them and they're still haunting me in death these guys haunt me oh gosh okay noble demands increased pensions Oh gosh, this is gonna be terrible for me. Mm. 
I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I can take another stability hit for a little bit. And you guys moved in, which is exactly what I wanted you to do. Now we'll do that. And wait, do we even have to, I don't even think we really have to fight this war anymore. I think they'll just give me what I want. Yeah. And also take Novgorod. No. You guys won't give me Novgorod? Let's see. Can I get anything else? Force of Religion would give me... They won't They won't accept Force of Religion. So I'm just not going to be able to do that. Um, uh, not going to be able to get Vassal either. So I just... I'm really fighting for these two regions right now. Which right now we need... 59. Oh no. I'm not... I'm not going to be in it that long. Hey, they'd give me Rija, but they wouldn't give me... Huh. Let's see. Release Nations, Annual Treaties. Do they have any cores on my... Revolt cores on... Yeah, get up. Get a lot of these cores off of me. Seriously, I don't want any more... Any more of these. Um... Yeah, let's not do that and give me as much money as you can. Okay? Send demand! Yeah! I got one place. And now we're gonna go send our army back here. And for some reason, these guys are not what I expected them to be. So I'm going to delete these two guys. Okay, because that is... We don't have those kind of army men anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go send these guys over here to St. James. And now St. James, we are a little bit more protected because we have a much better alliances. And wow, that was a good war right there, guys. Good war. We got a new vassal, who we are instantly going to start working on, because they hate us. I mean, they seriously do not like us, so we're going to start working on that right now. So we can get them to like us, and then we'll do some royal marriages with them, and, you know, we'll do, we'll do all that fancy stuff we usually do with uh, too many diplomatic light, too many diplomatic relations. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. I'm right now at a 5 out of 4, Great Britain, Lithuania, Bohemia, okay, Bohemia. Let's just, I'm going to have to cancel relationship with you guys, because you guys are Great Royal Tides, oh, stability drop. That's going to cost me, that's going to cost me, and anything else? I'll dissolve our alliance next time, but yeah. Boost up our stability again. And there we go, my queen. We broke our allegiance with Bohemia. Wait, we have a queen now? Oh, shoot! Long live the queen, everyone! I, I got the memo a little bit late, but. Oh, gosh! We have a queen! Uh, Brandenburg has insulted us. Wow, they really do not like us. And then you guys, I'm going to. Uh. Yeah, now we don't have relationships with them anymore. So yeah, now we can start working on Hodenstein, who we're going to make our new little buddy. Alright, and let's see. Are all these armies relatively balanced? Eh, no. Let's just combine these two armies and then split them up, and then have the two remaining armies from here. Yeah, divide them evenly. There we go. Now, the two remaining armies from here, just to keep as this. Excellent, Viceroys! Yes! Good job, Viceroys! And we can actually... We don't have to be spending too much, so we can actually go back to 10... Uh, 10 income, which I'm loving right now. And let's see, Past Blasphemy Act, Missionary Strength... Ooh. Yeah! Uh, Past the Suffrage Act, not really. National Tax Modifies, really modified. Boost up one more. Yeah, I, I want to stick, yeah, I want to stick at about one infamy. That's about where we should be stick. A oh, one, not infamy, one stability. That's where we should be at. And we finally got a self-sustaining colony in, in the Golden Coast? What? It finally became self-sustaining? <gasps> yes. Okay. Oh, it finally became self-sustaining, but we also need to get over here. This place over here, uh... We're also going to get this right here, get some more colonies over there. I mean, it's pretty nice over here, and I think I'm going to move some of my armies back over here. That way I have a good balanced army. Ah, uh, New St. James, you are being the best colony ever. And France is expanding like a crazy, crazy punction. They have colonies all over. Uh, let's see, is this Mausolvea? No, I don't want alliance with you guys, actually. Because you guys stink. 
And I mean that in a very, very literal sense. You guys stink. I have to get my vassals to start liking me, so that's what we're going to start doing. Now that the war has ended, we can finally start trading again, so I'm going to go into... Let's go into Chesapeake Bay, because we don't have many places to actually do that. Um, over here, we'll also send these guys to the Baltic Sea. But yeah, I forget sometimes that we are the main traders of the Chesapeake Bay. In fact, look at the trade note. We basically are the Chesapeake Bay. I mean, there are some natives in the Chesapeake Bay. Let's see. Yeah, there are some natives in the Chesapeake Bay, but we are basically the main holders of this trade node. And it was funny. I don't think I showed you guys this. Yesterday when I was looking up the uh, Hudson Bay trade node, I was like, so no one's colonized over here yet. Does that mean that because we only... And I'm the only one who's colonized at least one place over here. Does that mean that we own this entire trade node? And yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> The gateway to the Hudson Bay is Eriksford. Literally, no one else owns this except for us. And it's only because we have one thing. But, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, over here, though, it's a pretty divided market, but we are getting a little bit stronger. We are the second biggest person in this market, which is pretty good. Considering we came in a little bit later to this market, I'm pretty happy of how we turned out. Uh, yeah. Portugal seems to have expanded a little bit into the Aztecs. That's not good because I kind of want to conquer the Aztecs. Uh, okay, and I'll be sending our colonies where? Uh, let's let's finish up the rest of this side of the uh, American coastline so that we can get all that. And it seems like we got another self-sustaining colony right here. Get a core instantly, and then we can start building up stuff, and now we got a new colony, a new colonial member. Uh, where should we colonize? It seems like France is starting to move in over here, which is not necessarily the best, because I want to make sure that they don't get over here. Ooh, there's actually some good land over here. Like, good land. I mean, this is... Hmm... I want to colonize over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's get Quebec. Cause that's basically where. No, it actually might be a little bit northward from where Quebec was, but it's basically the entire Saint Lawrence River. We want to control this. Yeah, we want to control all of this. So let's just start going there. And yes. Okay, so let's see. Any national decisions that we already checked on this? Any national decisions? Anything like that? Got more money? Wow, money is just ticking. And we're going to already start uh, getting some diplomatic relationships for next time. Because we have to... Should we work on these guys? They do like us, but they are kind of useless, if I must be honest. Um... Hmm... Eh. We can make... We can have them remain the same. And conversion successful, my queen! Let's see. Another province bites the dust, that means we get more power. And, holy shoot, this is like the lowest it's ever been. Ooh, I still want to do that, but I think I'm going to have to do this first. <laughs> oh, gosh, we, we hate everyone that is not us. That is just, wow. I mean, it's just like, we just hate them. It's just like, when we see somebody that is not us, we're like, ooh, I hate them. Yeah, Sweden's definitely not turning out to be the most utopian society ever. Definitely not by a long shot, guys. Definitely not by a long shot. So, that's happening. Let's see. How much do my neighbors think of me now? Because I want to make sure that these guys do not hate me. L Lithuania, again, dislikes me. Again. Why does this always happen? Start improving relationships with them again, because I really don't want to go to war with them for a little bit. At least until I start getting some of this, more of this land over here, this juicy, juicy land. And I am completely capped out in terms of, in terms of, um, diplomatic power, which means to tell me why cannot, you need to have a power ahead of your time. Seven years. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I need to get a like diplomatic. Is there anything? Is there anything diplomatically related? Cause this is like a lot. Fabricate claims, diplomats, the diplomat, the trade. Oh gosh, I might go for trade ideals next. 
So I'm not really into the whole Grand Navy thing. No, 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 no. Expansion. Ooh, having another colonist. Another colonist to do like a triple colony thing. That'd be nice. But first I have to get more technology, which is something... It does take a little bit. <laughs> it does take a little bit to go this. Yay, more technology! Yay! More technology. And by the way, are we at our maximum cap size limits right now? No, we are not. We're not even close. Uh, we need five more so that means we can build an army of five which means we could probably upgrade these guys a little bit so let's see five I'm gonna make this one our main army so let's see what do I want this to be we'll build one two three four five okay there we go have that mate have that mate go send him over there and there we go my queen, we have gained a province in the Golden Coast. And we got excellent gear in terms of recruitment. That's really good. You guys get this. Oh, you guys could also get that, but get this specifically. And then you guys over here, once this one finishes, we'll have this one also build a fort. And yeah, look at our colonial our empire is really doing good right now. We are seriously doing good. Okay, queen. We have changed the culture, yes! Oh, and that's a perfect way to end today's episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.